Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for this 30th day of May, and we have two more days today and tomorrow left of this month, and then we move on into the month of June, and summer starting, and so uh, so today's topic is titled, Changing the Weather, and hopefully this will be a good uh, topic today. So uh, before we get started on all that, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and hope and pray that He's your Lord and Savior today. And if not, well, today is the day to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone. It's not by any types of works that we can do, not by trying to pay for it ourselves, because you can never pay for your sin, and you'll be paying for it one day in eternity in hellfire. But Jesus paid it all for you, and you don't have to worry about uh, that once you're saved. And after you get saved, Jesus will show you how to live a Christ-like life on this earth, and show you how to be a, a good and faithful servant for him and to go out and get the gospel out to every creature in this world. Amen. So, all right. So we're going to start with today's scripture song, which is from John fifteen five, and this is Jesus speaking. So press play and sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> John fifteen five. I am the vine. Ye are the branches, he that abideth in me, and I in him, same bring forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. That's the truth right there. I am the vine, ye are the branches, he that abideth in me, and I in him, same bring forth much fruit without me ye can do nothing I am the vine ye are the branches he that abideth in me and I in him same bring it bring it forth much fruit or without me, ye can do nothing. For without me, ye can do nothing. That's right. So make sure you have Jesus and trusting Him and obeying Him. And all right, so that is that. And I'll do that towards the end of the broadcast along with yesterday's scripture song. Now it's time to get into today's topic for Tuesday, May 30th, 2023, and it's titled, Changing the Weather. It says here in James 5.17, Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And that's James 5.17, and today's author is C.S., that would be the initials, I believe, for Chris Staub. So let me double check here. So CS, yep, Chris Staub. He's the pastor of Silvery Lane Baptist Church in Dearborn Heights, Michigan. So let me read you what he wrote on this topic of changing the weather. He writes here, uh, Private Edward Ormsby saved the written command. So he's this uh, private saved the written command. Uh, it was highly unusual that 250,000 copies were made and handed to every man in General George Patton's Third Army during World War II. Chaplain James O'Neill received the Bronze Star for writing out that order. Patton's troops had been bogged down for days by terrible weather. Rain, fog, and flooding were making the advance nearly impossible. Not content to sit idly by, Patton called the chaplain, I'm tired of having to fight mud, fog, and floods, as well as the Germans, bellowed Patton. See if you can get God to work on our side. O'Neill got right to work. The prayer he wrote beseeched the Almighty and merciful Father to restrain these immoderate rains and grant us fair weather for the battle. Graciously hearken to us as soldiers to crush the wicked of wickedness of our enemies. So that was the prayer he prayed. 
the soldiers received the prayer card on December 22nd, the day of the counterattack at the Battle of the Bulge. Miraculously, the rain stopped, giving perfect weather for six days. Oh, praise the Lord. The Third Army handed uh, Third Army handed Hitler a stunning defeat. Uh, PFC uh, Ormsley was glad for the command, even though he was wounded at the bulge. God had ch uh, changed the weather. Talk about man-made climate change. <laughs> uh, how much help are we missing because we simply focus on a problem and never pray to our merciful Heavenly Father even about the weather? Mm. It's a good question. So, again, how much help are we missing because we simply focus on a problem and never pray to our merciful Heavenly Father even about the weather? So, making sure we're going to Him in prayer instead of focusing on the problem and get the solution from the Lord. And it might not happen right away, but continue to pray uh, that He would be merciful and help us to situations that we go through and not to focus on the problem or the trouble amen so that is the end of today's baptist spread topic pretty good there and so now I'll grab the daily strength volume one book and this is written by douglas d stoffer and andrew b ray and we are going through the topic of faith this week and next week and we are on day 115 tuesday titled the importance of faith and it says here in Hebrews 11:6, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That's uh, the truth right there. So make sure we diligently seek him and have faith in the Lord. As yesterday's uh, passage was uh, Hebrews 11, 1 through 3. And 11.1 1 said, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Alright, so let's get into the introductory thoughts. It says here, Any person who suggests that Christianity is simply an easy way to avoid the trials of life speaks as a fool or a liar, right? Because uh, just because you're a Christian doesn't mean that trials and tribulations and sorrows will not come, because they still will, because as we're in this body of flesh, we're still going to have... Uh, those things that we struggle with and those sorrows and troubles and problems in life because that's just uh, that's just life so but we can go to the Lord and he can help us and take the burden and his burden is light so let's get yoked up with Jesus and continue to to stay close to him so praise the Lord all right so again any person who suggests that Christianity is simply an easy way to avoid the trials of life speaks as a fool or a liar. In actuality, the Christian life involves an ongoing outward battle along with a constant inner struggle. So struggling with the flesh and making sure our heart's right all the time and letting the Holy Spirit work and rule and reign in us and not give over to the flesh. So and flee from uh, youthful lusts. So it says here, continue on, perhaps the greater of the two is the struggle which exists Within a believer, part of the Christian, called the new man, the Holy Spirit living inside us, wants to do right, while the other part delights in doing wrong and following the old ways, the old man. So it's a constant battle between the new man living inside of us, the Holy Spirit, trying to work in us, and the flesh um, battling against uh, the Holy Spirit, and uh, doing right and not doing wrong. So... Amen. All right. So continue on. Faith in God's word and God's plan is a primary means of assuring one's spiritual success. Today's passage focuses on the absolute necessity for personal faith within the life of a Christian. The book of Hebrews says, without faith, it is impossible to please him. God, it's God, uh, the father. So making sure we're always pleasing him and uh, as best we can. In this body of flesh while we're going through this Christian life on earth. And one day we'll be with uh, Jesus and God the Father in heavenly places. So and get our new body. And won't have to deal with this body of flesh any longer. Amen. Praise the Lord. Alright. So again. Today's passage focuses on 
the absolute necessity for personal faith within the life of a Christian. The book of Hebrews says, without faith it is impossible to please him, that's God and God the Father. Hence, the Bible repeatedly states that unbelief displeases God. In fact, faith is so crucial to pleasing God that he devoted an entire Bible chapter pointing to the lives of those who exemplified faith. Since God spent the time, space, and effort to chronicle the faith of those of the past, he surely places no less emphasis on the faith of those living today, right? So let's take heed of that as uh, born-again believers in Christ. All right, now we got devotional thoughts. First is for children, and of course you can apply this to adults also, anybody, uh, some in some aspects. So for children it says, David believed God. Read First Samuel 17, 34 through 30, 37. Why did David believe he could kill the giant Goliath? Similar to the example of David, God is well pleased when we believe in him, his word, and his plan for us. Right? So make sure you read the passage there, 1 Samuel 17, 34 through 37, about uh, David going up against Goliath. And uh, Brother Kyle had a good message uh, about uh, that over, I think it was last uh, last weekend uh, during the evening's uh, service. So check that out, his message there, by going to James Knox Sermon's YouTube channel or the website, uh, the church website at www.jameswknox.org. So check that uh, sermon out. All right, for everyone, it says the Lord is not going to add any names to Hebrews chapter 11, but he continues to keep track of those whose lives exemplify a life of faith. Are you concerned with making such a list by living a life of faith? Hmm, good question. Hope so. Do you desire to live a life pleasing to God? Yeah, but it still is a struggle. Uh, what are you doing in order to achieve this goal? Uh, when is the last time you can remember exemplifying a great measure of faith? Hmm, so good questions there. Take heed of and ponder all right so that was devotional thoughts and now we got prayer thoughts it says ask god to mold you into a person known for strong faith and then the second prayer thought is ask god to open your eyes to the importance of taking him at his word and then the song for today is my faith has found a resting place from the book but since it's coming up here in a few days so i decided to just wait till it comes up in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book instead of uh, singing it today as the extra uh, song or hymn. So this way it's coming up here in about three or four days from now in the hymn book. So just wait and sing it then. Amen. All right. So that is uh, today's topic. And tomorrow is a non-devotional day. Just a uh, passage there. So we do fight on stories on Wednesdays and Sundays when there's no topic from the Daily Strength book. And I'll give you the titles for those stories here in a little bit and now it's time to get into today's hymn and it is titled jesus never fails and he never fails amen and this is hymn 389 in the psalms and hymns and spiritual songs book another one on the assurance of salvation a spiritual song written by arthur a luther 1891 to 1960 and we have a story here at the bottom so, <clears throat> press play and try to sing along as best I can with this. So, here we go. Earthly <laughs> friends may prove untrue, doubts and fears assail. One still loves and cares for you, one who will not fail. Jesus never fails, Jesus never fails. Heaven and earth may pass away, but Jesus never fails. Though the sky be dark and drear, 
fierce and strong the gale. Just remember he is near, and he will not fail. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Heaven and earth may pass away, but Jesus never fails. In life's dark and bitter hour, love will still prevail. Trust His everlasting power, Jesus will not fail. Jesus never fails, Jesus never fails. Heaven and earth may pass away, but Jesus never fails. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's the truth right there. All right, so that's the hymn. Now I read you the story here at the bottom. It says, uh, Arthur shares the occasion of this hymn's birth. As a schoolboy Christian, I had a burning desire to be a foreign missionary. That was not to be. Later, I had an urgent desire to write a song that everyone would sing. I tried a popular song, but it was a dismal failure. Yet God, in His own time and way, granted me, or excuse me, granted my wish, and Jesus never fails, has reached to the uttermost of mission fields, and the multitude, having sung it, oh, praise the Lord, the song was written at Somerset, Kentucky. I received some very disturbing news from my family, some six hundred miles away, worried and homesick. I sat down at the old square piano in the old Kentucky home where we were staying, and at my fingers wandered uh, idly a simple melody developed beneath them which seemed to sing, Jesus never fails. Uh, then and there the words and music of the chorus were born. Reassuring news came from home. He did not fail me, translated into nearly a dozen languages by the uh, by the author's death. These lines uh, grandly echo around the globe the infallible truth. God never fails. Amen. Jesus never fails. So, praise the Lord. All right. And uh, it says here in the bottom, 1927, New Springs. Publishing Inc. And so that's uh, where this publishing company here in 1927. So praise the Lord for this uh, hymn and this man that wrote this hymn. And uh, Jesus never fails. All right, now I'll give you the references here. So number one, stanza one, says uh, here, uh, stanza one, the reference here is James 4.4 4 and Hebrews 13.5. And then stanza two is Psalm one. There's Psalm 18, 11, and Psalm 22, 11. And then stanza 3 is 1 John 5, 5, and 1 Timothy 4, 10. And then for the refrain, we have one reference here, Matthew 24, 35. So, praise the Lord for that. <clears throat> and that is the end of today's hymn. And now we'll go ahead and get the Scripture Song book out and sing the Scripture Songs again. And then we'll conclude it after that. So, yesterday's and then today's. The 29th. Proverbs 12, 21. There shall no evil nope. happen nope, to that's the not what I wanted. But yesterday's. Psalms 91. Sorry about that. And two. He, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, the Lord my refuge and, and my fortress, fortress, my God and Him will I trust. 
he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Almighty shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, Almighty, the Most High. I will save the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and Him will I trust. The Almighty, and Him will I trust. Most high, the Almighty, in Him will I trust. All right, let's trust in the Lord. All right, now today's John fifteen five. I am the vine. Ye are the branches, he that abideth in me, and I in him. The same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. Right, Jesus speaking there. <clears throat> I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him. The same bringeth bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. I am the vine, ye are the branches, he that abideth in me, and I in him. The same bringeth, bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. For without me ye can do nothing. That's right. Alright. Well, that's it for today's broadcast. But before I go, let me give you tomorrow's scripture song and then the topics for the Baptist bread and then the scripture verse for tomorrow, Wednesday, and then the Fight on stories for tomorrow, and then the hymn, and then tomorrow is the last day of the month, so always on the last day of the month, uh, starting a few months ago, I started doing where do favorite scripture songs, so if you have any that you like and want to hear, uh, I can uh, gladly uh, sing them for you. If not, I'll just uh, go through and pick the ones that are good, and um, so and that'll be an extra half an hour there, usually. Uh, when we do these uh, special scripture songs, so amen uh, from the month. So, and then I'll give you all the information for the month of June and all that. So, I'll show you the new CD for that month and go through all that. So, it'd be a little bit of extra um, time there for tomorrow and the end of the month. So, praise the Lord. All right, so tomorrow's scripture song for the 31st will be Galatians 6 7. It says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. That's right, and whatever you sow in the flesh is what you will reap. So make sure you sow good things, things for the Lord, and not things uh, that are wicked and after the flesh. And uh, so, amen. <clears throat> All right, so that's tomorrow's scripture song. And then tomorrow's Baptist bread topic will be titled, uh, Ritual or Spiritual. Hmm, and that's title and then the passage is from 1st Corinthians 2 13 and tomorrow's author is brother Tim Green from Revival in Our Times Day Heights Ohio so that's tomorrow's topic and then the Daily Strength volume 1 book no no topic for tomorrow just the passage so usually do uh, fight on stories on Wednesdays and Sundays when there's no topic so tomorrow is day 116 church night and if your church nights on a Thursday you can uh, switch around but we'll just go through the order of the book and the passage tomorrow is Psalm 2713 is the passage. And then the fight on stories for tomorrow. We'll be doing three of them. So fight on. This is the book here. Volume one. There's two volumes here. Sorry about the glare there. And this is a collection of stories about those who have persevered through hardship and
Danger by Samuel C. Gipp. And tomorrow we got three stories here. The first one is titled Above the Call of Duty. And then there's a passage here on the next page, John 15, uh, 1513. And then the next story is titled Sacrificial Savior. And then the uh, third and final story is God and Guts. So those will be the three stories for tomorrow. So, amen. All right. And put that there. So that's tomorrow uh, for the fight on stories. And then the hymn for tomorrow will be titled, We Have an Anchor. This is another good one. I like this one here. 390. We've already made it to hymn 390 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. But still got a lot more to go. There's almost a thousand hymns in here. But praise the Lord. Some that you might know, some you don't know. And... Uh, no story for this one, <clears throat> but uh, this is hymn 390, another one on the Assurance of Salvation hymns, and so that will be tomorrow's hymn, <clears throat> and if you want to get a copy of that book and the Daily uh, Strength Volumes 1 through 4 books, they're available on MelodyPublications.com, and that's where you can get those copies of those books, the hymn book and the Daily Strength books, and then the Fight On book that you read on Wednesdays and uh, Sundays. That's available online. You can ch check that out by typing that in. And then the Scripture Song book and CDs are available online at www.dailyscripturesongs.com. That's Brother Dean and Sister Patty Runyon's website. They're missionaries to Port Kaituma, Guyana. So pray for them and check out what they're doing and what's going on for them, with them over there. And you can, too, be a bold witness in your own backyard by going and telling somebody about Jesus in your own town today. And it's all a mission field. Everywhere we go is a mission field. So uh, get out there and let's tell somebody about Jesus today. Amen. All right. And then the Baptist Bread devotional book and uh, is available online by going to www.baptistbread.com or www.timgreenministries.org. And if you order, you'll get the ones for... Uh, July and August, so and they'll probably be coming to me here soon. I uh, usually uh, get them around the middle of the month, and they come every other month in a box of 10, and it's uh, twelve ninety five, and you can get a subscription going and keep one for yourself and hand the other ones out to other people, or you can hand them all out if you don't want to keep one for yourself. So that's how you get that information and order that. And then on the second website, there's other books to... To order if you see anything else you like on that other website. And then the Bible, the King James Bible, the Word of God, is the book we should always be getting into and reading and studying it. And of course, praying to the Lord, pray without ceasing that He would show you what the uh, what He wants you to see as you're reading His uh, book and trying to be a better Christian and live a Christ-like life on this earth. So, Amen. And if you're just joining, uh, I encourage you to go back and listen to the entirety of this broadcast and any broadcast you might have missed and if you know somebody who doesn't have facebook you can direct them to the youtube channel by going to ambassador for christ broadcasting or typing in baptist bread devotional broadcast and look me up that way and you can like and subscribe and hit that notification bell i usually post these up after i do the live broadcast every day so praise the lord for that and uh, hopefully these devotionals are helping to bless you in some way and that's why i do them and if you want to listen to the podcast where I do different heroes of the Christian faith stories and missionary uh, books, you can look that up at God's Messenger Lighthouse podcast on uh, Spotify for uh, podcasters or the regular Spotify channel or iHeartRadio is the platforms I have them up on right now. So check that out. And going through the book on Jacob the Shazer, it's pretty good so far. So probably read another chapter either today or tomorrow. I wanted to do it last night, but didn't get a chance to, so I'll be reading the next chapter. I think it was chapter 6 that I'm going into now, so check that out, and along with all the other ones that I've read so far. So, praise the Lord for these uh, heroes of the faith and missionaries, and check that out if you like to listen to uh, audio books being read to you. So, praise the Lord. Amen. Alright, that's it for today, so thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you. Until next time, remember... Only Jesus can save your soul, and if you're saved and born again already, hopefully this will be, have been a help to you to keep going for the Lord somehow. And so let's keep on uh, going for Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
All right, see you all next time. Bye-bye for now.